I'm Dr. Frida, and today I'm going to share with you which high potassium foods are actually good for lowering blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension is a leading cause of heart disease, strokes, and kidney failure. In the United States, almost half of the adults have high blood pressure, yet according to the CDC, only about one in four adults with hypertension actually have it under control. And this is largely due to diet. The average American diet has way too much sodium and not nearly enough potassium. And this is a problem because potassium actually is very helpful in lowering blood pressure. But be careful because a high potassium diet is actually not for everyone as we will discuss. So today we're going to talk high potassium foods. And I'm going to answer the question, are these 21 high potassium foods really good for lowering blood pressure? Keep watching. I'm Dr. Frida, an MD who has been triple board certified, and today I'm going to answer some questions about high potassium foods. Many studies have revealed that low potassium is actually associated with high blood pressure and high risk of strokes, and most Americans take in less than half of the daily recommended amount of potassium, which is, for the average American, 4,700 milligrams. High potassium diets can be good for lowering blood pressure because the more potassium you take in, the more sodium you put out. When you have a high potassium diet, that high potassium allows you to excrete more sodium through the urine. And of course, high sodium is not good for blood pressure. Also, potassium tends to decrease the tension in blood vessels. It helps the blood vessels to relax, which also lowers the blood pressure. When discussing high potassium foods, however, please be careful because a high potassium diet is not for everyone. If you are a person with advanced kidney disease, for example, then you will likely have an issue with excreting potassium. And so your physician will likely want you to have a limited amount of potassium. Also, if you're taking certain medications which cause potassium to be high in your body, such as ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, aldosterone inhibitors like spironolactone, then you also need to consult with your physician because you also will likely need to limit the potassium you take in. And then there are people who have certain disorders or diseases which cause them to have high potassium. These patients, again, should not have a high potassium diet. Always consult with your physician when making dietary changes. Nevertheless, for the average American adult, if you have elevated blood pressure or blood pressure that's higher than 120 over 80, then you should increase the potassium in your diet and try to get it to at least that 4,700 milligrams per day. So now let's talk about these high potassium foods. I'm going to give you 21 high potassium foods that are helpful in lowering blood pressure. Let's talk about it. Bananas. I'm sure you've heard that bananas are a rich source of potassium and they are. One medium banana has about 425 milligrams of potassium. Here's the issue. If you were to solely depend on bananas for your daily potassium intake, you would have to take in like 10 bananas. So bananas are high in potassium, but unfortunately they're also high in sugar and carbs and calories. And if you're trying to maintain a healthy weight, this could be an issue. And so you want to also rely on other sources for your potassium intake. Tomatoes and tomato juice, yes. Both of these are also high potassium foods, which can reduce your high blood pressure. However, when you're taking in the tomatoes, you want to make sure that they are fresh. You want the tomato juice to be fresh, not canned, because when you're dealing with canned tomatoes and juice, they may have high sodium, which will counteract the purpose of the potassium lowering your blood pressure. Oranges. Oranges and orange juice, also very rich in potassium, and these can help to decrease your blood pressure. Grapefruit, grapefruit, definitely a high source of potassium. Here's the issue. Grapefruits and grapefruit juice can interact with certain medications like certain cholesterol lowering medications. So you want to consult with your physician when choosing this high potassium food to lower your blood pressure. Here are some more high potassium foods which are good for lowering your blood pressure. Apricots and apricot juice, kiwi, nectarines, cantaloupe, and honeydew. Now be careful when enjoying your cantaloupe and your other melons because there are certain cultures that enjoy adding salt to melons. This is something that's done culturally, historically. However, when you add the salt, again, that sodium will counteract 
the good work of the potassium. And so you want to eat your melon and all of your fruits fresh. Prunes and prune juice are high potassium foods, which can help to lower the blood pressure. Raisins as well. Avocados are high in potassium and good for lowering blood pressure. Half of an avocado has 345 milligrams of potassium and only five milligrams of sodium. So this is an excellent choice for many reasons. Greens, greens tend to be high in potassium. Collard greens, kale, arugula. Again, you want to make sure that you're not adding salt and again, having that sodium to counteract the effects. And you want to make sure that if you are using a salt substitute, consult with your physician because many salt substitutes already have potassium and you want to make sure that you're not adding even more potassium than necessary. Other foods include spinach, broccoli, beans. And so beans are really rich in potassium. Beans like lima beans, lentils, kidney beans. And what's great about beans is that they also are loaded with fiber, which is a great food that helps to decrease cholesterol. Be sure to watch my video on how to unclog your arteries naturally after you finish watching this video. Peas are another high potassium food that can help to lower the blood pressure. The next two foods I'm going to mention are high potassium foods that are good for lowering blood pressure. These two are also high in carbohydrates and so you'll have to do it with moderation. But butternut squash. Butternut squash is wonderful for lowering blood pressure. It's loaded with high potassium. But when you're eating that butternut squash, again, you want to make sure you're not dealing with recipes that have a lot of sodium, that have a lot of added sugar, or you can run into other heart healthy problems. Potatoes, ooh, those infamous high carbohydrate potatoes. Well, guess what? They're an excellent source of high potassium, which can help to lower blood pressure. If you have one baked white potato, it can have up to 700 milligrams of potassium. Excellent source. Also sweet potatoes. Oh, I love sweet potatoes. A half a cup of mashed sweet potatoes has 470 milligrams of potassium. So again, doing everything in moderation, but these are excellent sources of that potassium, which can help to lower your blood pressure. Now here is one of my favorite sources of potassium, seafood. Fatty fish like tuna, salmon, mackerel, halibut, all sources of high potassium, which can help to lower your blood pressure. These are also excellent protein sources. They have omega-3s, vitamin D, just an excellent nutritious food all around. But again, be careful when preparing it, try to use seasonings like garlic, onion. You want to avoid sodium. You want to avoid sauces with a lot of sugar because you don't want to counteract the healthy benefits of this seafood. The next food, nuts. Yes, nuts can be a high source of potassium. So pistachios, peanuts, almonds, all excellent sources of potassium and protein, a heart healthy food, but you want to make sure that your nuts are unsalted. Please do not add sodium because again, you'll be counteracting the benefits of the potassium. Lastly, milk. Yes, milk can do the body good. When you're dealing with low fat milk or 1% milk or even yogurt, the milk is high in potassium. And again, this can help to lower your blood pressure. Be sure to watch my video on 15 foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure after you finish watching this video. So I've just given you 21 high potassium foods and the answer is yes. These 21 high potassium foods really are good for lowering your blood pressure. Remember, the average person should be taking in 4,700 milligrams of potassium per day. But again, if you are a person with advanced kidney disease, if you're taking medications like ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, spironolactone, or if you have a disease, a disorder that causes you to have high potassium, then you want to limit your potassium and be sure that you consult with your physician. Also, Please do not take potassium supplementations unless you do it under the advisement of your healthcare provider. In addition to having a high potassium diet, you want to make sure you're doing other heart healthy things such as limiting the sodium in your diet, 
exercising, drinking enough water. You want to make sure that you're meditating. You want to make sure that you're having a heart healthy, mostly plant-based diet. And again, you want to always consult with your physician for what's best for you for managing your high blood pressure. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, please be sure to like it and to share it with the people you care about. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please head on over to my Instagram at dr.frida to see what I'm up to in my everyday life and make sure that you tune in for my podcast, Healthy Happy Life Podcast with Dr. Frida. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching and please do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frida.